Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Nick Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Vicente the Silent Assassin, Luke You ready to fight? Ready. Good. The silent assassin Vicente Luque getting ready for the start of this round. His style is anything but silent. Outstanding mix of knockouts and submissions. He likes to strike. He said as much midweek. He believes this matchup will be favorable for him in terms of the striking. Can always lean on that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu game if need be. But Luque ready to kickbox under the lights tonight. Diaz gets caught by the straight punch. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. Hands on your face. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. All right, early action here, and a nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fought. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer, and the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight, you just pivot with the hook, it lands around that guard, and he does a lot of damage with it. Oh! Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the chute. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Big, straight left. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, you see. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, big punch land. Beautiful job landing that head kick. He's got that single collar tie. Upper cuts right on the chin. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. They come into contact, he is doing bombs. Luque's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Under two minutes in the first round. Lead kick landed there by Diaz. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Clipped him with the right hand there. And another one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Clean punch right there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Print the shirts, ground and pound. 
Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. He passes to half guard. Diaz is right back to the full mount. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Big power shot there. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Luque gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, masterful job by him controlling the range. Another punch lands. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Missed with that attempt. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Luke is in half guard now. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. I'm trying to set up a choke here, but that Von flu choke looks locked in. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Luque's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Lands the grounded pound strike here. That was a slick transition. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Uh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Diaz. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely low. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Diaz's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, big left. Nice jab. 
Under 90 seconds to go. Well, you know this is the hurt business. Both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Diaz gets back up again, nicely done. Under a minute to go. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you have a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Luke is swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to Great. breathe in order to have a Great. chance to win this fight? Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you dream of and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Luque's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. There's the kick, it's blocked. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Yeah, you can see the mark on the uh, rib area of Nick Diaz. Uh, rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple. All right, setting up for an arm bar now. What a tight arm bar. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. He's having his way with him here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Dark choke is up here. Oh my goodness, that dark choke is very tight. He's working very hard to try to get the sub. This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on him. up and delivers a big round. 
ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Diaz. Two minutes to go in our third and final round. Luque's in half guard. He's in the mouth. Nicely done. Luque's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, Diaz is back in full mount. In the half guard. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Luque getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Yes, the single collar time now. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. 30 seconds to go here. Oh, both. Both land. 20 seconds to go. Big right hand. Oh, huge left. Beautiful straight punch there by Diaz. He went high on that one. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Nick Diaz! Well, he certainly hasn't been the most active fighter on the roster, but when he does compete, Nick Diaz still gets the job done, so congratulations to Diaz, to the Caesar Gracie fight team, the Scrap Pack, and everybody else. Another signature win for Nick Diaz here tonight, and this 209 tattoo looking pretty good.